Hey there, Sonia Wick here. Welcome to my video vlog. Today is day number 30 of video vlogging. Woohoo! 30 days of video vlogging. I hope you guys have been enjoying them so far. They sure have been a lot of fun to put together. Um, okay. Whew. So, last weekend here in Colorado, three Trader Joe's opened. And a lot of people were like, oh, Trader Joe's, blah, blah, blah. They have been rumoring that they would come here for literally 10 years. I mean, it's been forever. So I was under the impression that I was going to believe it when I saw it. Like, I wasn't getting my hopes up. I love Trader Joe's. Every time I go home to California, I usually pack a bag full of Trader Joe's stuff um, and put it on the plane. Home with me, things like nuts and snacks and veggies and sweet potato chips, um, some, <laughs> like lotion. There's just a ton of little things there that I love. So they opened and I stayed away because I heard the lines were really crazy. But today after swimming, I went for it, went to Trader Joe's and I walked in and I was like, I felt like I was home because I grew up going to Trader Joe's like my whole life. And, um, I felt like, Oh, I'm in California. I'm home. And then I walked back out with my bags and I was like, oh, I'm in Denver. Like it was the weirdest thing to go to Trader Joe's in Colorado. And I don't think anyone is going to understand this unless they grew up in California and have been a transplant for, see, I moved here in 01. So I've been here 13 years now. Um, it was fantastic. The food is affordable. For example, fennel. I love fennel and in Colorado I get one small fennel bowl at King Supers for $2.99. Um, at Trader Joe's I got two large fennel bulbs like this big, two of them for $1.99. Like I would have paid $6 for what I got for $1.99. Um, and I always have felt like they were screwing me on fennel. I was like whenever I buy fennel I buy it because it's good for me and I love it but I'm like oh I'm getting screwed right now. So I was happy to buy the fennel. Um, and just like veggies, turkey, peas, fruit. I'm so happy about the Trader Joe's being here. I'm so excited. Uh, so today I thought I would give you my five, um, like, I'm an athlete and I eat lots of food, but it needs to be good food tips. So one, uh, don't skip breakfast, but have a quick breakfast solution. So my quick bre breakfast solution came about from doing the whole 30. Uh, I have it every day now, and that is diced sweet potatoes that have onions and kale mixed in that I pre-cook in the oven, 400 degrees, about 40 minutes. I chop it all, lay it on a cookie sheet. Um, sometimes I do a double batch, put in a big Tupperware for the week. So I basically get that out, put a couple scoops of sweet potatoes on my plate, stick it in the micro for 90 seconds. While doing that, I do two eggs. I do them scrambled, throw that on top of the sweet potatoes, and then I do a half an avocado on top of that. So have a breakfast, don't skip breakfast, but have something that you can get into your belly, like five minutes of cooking time max. Eggs are great. Um, two, default to water when possible. Um, I, I find so many people, it's like they go to these locations and they always have a glass of wine when they're here, or they always have a beer when they have a brat, or default to water in most locations, but save those specialty drinks for a really special occasion. So today I went to Trader Joe's and I'm having some sparkling apple cider. Um, and it's a special occasion that I've been to Trader Joe's. It is. I know that sounds silly, but this is like, I probably will only have something like this once a week, maybe, if that. Maybe a hot chocolate once a week too. Um, so default to really questioning, default to water and question whether coffee, juice, wine, beer are routines in your life or special occasions in your life and maybe keep it at special occasions. Three, antioxidants um, in your food rock. And antioxidants is a really big word and if you Google it, it's really confusing and crazy. But the simple way there, eat your rainbow. Get as many colors as you can in your, in your belly. So I've got some purple, I got some green, I got some red, that's about as good as I did today. But um, I try to get, you know, three to four colors in every meal that I eat because um, I know I'm getting my antioxidants when I'm getting a lot of color in my food. Number four, you need greens all the time. As an endurance athlete, you need spinach, kale, lettuce, you name it, all the time. Almost every meal, I try to have some sort of greens in there somehow. Even if it's just a bit of that kale that's chopped up in my sweet potatoes with my breakfast, it's very minimal, but I try to get greens in. Um, pesto is a great pesto basil those are greens so 
I, I try to just um, get greens into every meal that I can and I would say 90% of the time I have some sort of leafy green in what I'm eating. Number five and probably the most important for the endurance athlete and you hear it all the time, it's cliche, planning, planning, planning. Um, but what I found even better than planning is cooking a lot when you're making something. So when you throw a couple sweet potatoes in the oven to cook, I don't throw a couple sweet potatoes in for the next day's dinner. I throw 10 sweet potatoes in um, and then I just throw them in a Tupperware. When I make chicken breasts, if we're grilling, I don't make, you know, four chicken breasts. I make 10 chicken breasts um, to put in the fridge. I just am always constantly like doubling or tripling up what we're making. We did pork loin last night and they come in packs of two and you know, our family really only eats one of those and we really only need one. No, we made, we made two so that um, you can always sort of stay ahead of having something in the fridge that you can put together. If you have chicken or turkey in your fridge, greens in your fridge, and several veggies to choose from, you can always chop them up, put them in a bowl, and add any sort of salad dressing that you have. That will feed you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, and keep, keeps me going pretty, pretty strong. So having those base ingredients to always be able to draw from out of your fridge is really what's what's going to lead to success, in my opinion, what's led to my success. So, on behalf of Trader Joe's, yay, so happy for video blog number 30. I've got a quote for today. This one is like loosely food related and uh, it's Ernest Hemingway. And I don't know, I read this and I just laughed. As I ate the oysters with their strong taste of the sea and their faint metallic taste that the cold white wine washed away, leaving only the sea taste and the succulent texture. And as I drank their cold liquid from each shell and washed it down with the crisp taste of the wine, I lost the empty feeling and began to be happy and to make plans. I love it. I love Ernest Hemingway. He's always so descriptive. Oysters and wine. I love it when he says, I lost the empty feeling and began to be happy and to make plans. I feel that way with food sometimes. I'm just going to admit it. All right, I hope everyone had a great day. Um, more video blogs coming up and over and out.